we talk about this model of changing and what we really have is kind of a giant Kodak um, case study which which is, is showing us that the institutions that we have, the big ones, aren't readily changeable. The institutions that are startups like yourselves are very changeable and yet what we're not getting is this really nice interaction. What we've got is sort of people at two corners. What I'm really interested in is how do you, instead of banks buying startups, how do you start to work together to create a new platform that says there's places for all of these different things. Banks are pretty bad at designing transactional systems. Um, you know, I've worked on some of them and, and some of the reasons that people have given me why, why we need X product or Y or why we should make someone click through 27 screens just to do a transaction. Banks have good reasons for that. But they're not working collaboratively. It's become if we're really going to redesign the bank system and really make things changeable, then we really need to start integrating all of these elements, whether they're compassion, whether they're learning, whether they I mean, I've never heard a bank say, I actually want you to learn about your money. And yet, the process of learning about things, and I've watched customers in our, in our labs do this, the moment of, of truth when they finally understand something that they thought was complex that isn't, is wonderfully empowering. And, and to me, a design center or a design, a bank that designs things should be about giving as many people access to that moment. I've watched uh, executive general managers watch somebody go, oh, is that all you have to do? I never realized it was that simple. And suddenly go, wow, we could sell loads if we did this. And you go, really? <laughs> and I think, you know, how, how, do we, how do we create something that it's not just about us creating new banking systems, although that's fantastic. It's also about exposing people to dumb stuff and actually showing people what it is that we're doing. Because I think often banking executives have no idea what it feels like to be on the receiving end of a 57-step process for something that is actually about moving money from A to B.